can count on the fingers of one hand the number of road cars that can boast 1,000 horsepower. The Bugatti Veyron is surely the most famous, but that costs well over a million pounds. The latest member of the 1,000 Club cost less than a quarter of the Veyron. It's a very heavily modified wide-body Ford Mustang. It's made by Galpin Autosports, one of California's best-known car modifiers. Now, whilst I'm as desperate as ever to find out what happens when I plant my right foot, I think I'm going to find out first a bit more about what goes on under the bonnet. So, Steve, what we have here is a, what, a regular Shelby GT500 that you then just put a body kit on it to make it wider and... No, this is all handmade out of metal, and it takes about four months just to get the body bare metal done. Well, then you've got a wider track, then. No, you don't have to do a wider track when you're a wide body. What you do is you custom make the wheels, because okay. how you do a wide body is you hand make the wheels first, you put them on the car, and you build a wide body around the rims. It's the same, what, 5.4 litre supercharged engine? Yes, but this particular one, of course, we have changed it to make a 1,000 horsepower, which is, you know, America, we're excess, right? A super size, everything. Yeah. I change the supercharger. I go to a bigger supercharger. Bigger throttle body, bigger cold air, bigger injectors. We actually do a methanol injection on there. Methanol. Bigger intercooler, bigger, bigger, bigger. Well, you know what I think about 1,000 horsepower cars? Uh, no, I hate talking about them. I just love driving oh, them. Perfect. I expect the tires to be bald when they come back. Ignition. <laughs> Lift off. Unlike the Bugatti Veyron, it's not necessary to fiddle around under the dashboard to turn the traction off. You just turn it off. And now, 1,000 horsepower is all mine. And this is going to get me into trouble. Ah, I've got 6,500 revs on the clock. Long digits. Whoa, 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 bit of body rubbing me. Whoa, 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 spoiler, spoiler. Hedges, hedges, hedges. The Shelby Mustang it's based on costs a bargain $68,000, but the mods rack up to $150,000. The payoff, 0 to 60 in just 2.5 seconds. Of course, it's not just power and brakes they've done here. They've transformed the suspension. It's got new shockers. It's got stiffer anti-roll bars. And really, for a stiff car, it's amazing how well it's taking the uneven undulations of this wild country road. I love changing gear. I've got flapping pedals. I'm changing gear. When I open the throttle wide, a little green light comes on just ahead of me on the dashboard. And that's telling me that the methanol has been injected into the cylinders. Because when it's producing 1,000 horsepower, it needs that to keep the cylinder temperatures from melting point. And it just surges forward, really. Whatever gear you're in, it just gets quicker and quicker. Well, this is certainly quite an animal. It's big, it's brutish, it's very American. I was worried that this car would just be a headline grabber. All power and no finesse. But I'm happy to be proved wrong. This monster has actually left me with a bigger grin than a Bugatti Veyron. I am very well aware that I'm driving a £140,000 worth of car. And those big white walls that may look like soft, lovely snow are actually...